ओके सो वेलकम बैक टू दिस कोर्स सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव रजिस्टर्ड द यूजर सक्सेसफुली एंड नाउ लेट्स लोड आवर यूजर दैट इज करेंटली लॉग्ड इन इनटू द स्टेट ऑल राइट देन माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल डिस्प्ले दैट यूजर इन द हेडर सो व्हाट आई डू इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हैव टू गो टू द यूजर्स रिड्यूसर रिड्यूसर्स यूजर रिड्यूसर्स एंड ऑफ वी आल्सो हैव टू फाइंड आवर कांस्टेंट्स सो द यूजर कांस्टेंट्स सो लेट्स कॉपी दिस वन सो कॉपी So the first one is load user request. So load user request, then load user uh, success. Okay. Then we also have the load user fail. Oops. Okay, simply save it. Let's copy this one. Control C, and bring that here. Here that is success, and then the fail. Okay, so first of all, this is going to be same case for the Lord user also. So case the load user request we simply set loading to true and we set the is authenticated to false and then the load user success this is also same so case uh, load user success we will simply set the user is authenticated to true and loading to false and for the fail i simply type here that case load user fail i simply have to return that loading to false okay and is authenticated to false and then user to null and then the error correction of payload simply save it and we are done with our reducer so let's copy these three constants so control c go to the actions product uh, so user actions and let's bring in here our constants and after the register user i simply i i simply copy this one just to save some time so control c and put it here so that is load user and name is also load user we don't have to pass anything so that is load user request and this is going to be get request so dot get slash api slash v1 slash me remember when we send the request on this route it will give us the currently logged in user so we have to send the request on slash me right and we will simply type here load user success and here load user fail okay and the payload is going to be data dot user simple as that all right so let's simply save it and now we have to immediately call the function for example if i'm in the home or i'm on the home page if i reload it i immediately have to uh, load the user so for that the best place is the app.js all right i can put the load user here so what i do is i simply bring in here the import sorry load user from dot slash actions slash the user actions and also let's bring in the store import the store from dot slash store okay so let's import the user and the store and let's also pull out the pull out the use effect so i simply put in here import the use effect from the react all right and i simply type here in the functional component uh, so his app component the use effect 
and in that I simply put here that I simply have to call this store dot dispatch the load user all right so we will simply dispatch and load the user we cannot use dispatch here so simply have to import the store and then if we type store dot dispatch it is going to load the user simply save it and now let's test it out if i go back and reload the page if i go to login you can see i cannot go because now the user is in our state so redux and you can see that load user success in the state we have our auth we have the user if i reload it it is not going to affect our data all right so now user is present in our state it is loading when we reload the page so in my next video i want to display the currently logged in user in the header all right so i will do that stuff in my next video